As a wine queen, Stephanie Korpietz is basically always on duty. The 21-year-old university student will make 300 appearances over the course of a year, all of them honorary. Here we are in Wiesbaden. It's where I was born and grew up. Wiesbaden is friendly and down-to-earth, but it's also interesting culturally and the countryside is beautiful. But I won't say any more now. I'll just show you. Come with me. In the 19th century, Wiesbaden became a Hessian royal residence and an internationally renowned spa. So Stephanie's first tip is the Kurhaus Spa building with its 21-metre dome. The building's largest event hall is dedicated to its architect Friedrich von Tiersch. It seats 1,350 people. As Wiesbaden's wine queen, I'm often here in the Kurhaus for all sorts of events and balls. But I think it's lovely to walk through here even when it's empty. The magnificent rooms are gorgeous. Come and see for yourself. Nearby Wilhelmstrasse, the state capital's main boulevard, is an elegant place to stroll and shop. The centre of the old town is dominated by the market church. We go past the Hessian state parliament, the seat of government, to Stephanie's second recommendation. 2,000 years ago, the ancient Romans valued the many mineral springs here. Later, aristocrats, especially Russians, came to the spa to take the waters. To this day, some of the fountains fed by springs are open to the public. One of them is the Beckerbrunnen. It's where local bakers and butchers used to get their warm water. We're at the Beckerbrunnen, one of the 15 mineral and thermal springs we have in Wiesbaden. Have a taste. I'm certainly going to have one. For a nostalgic journey, nothing beats the funicular railway. Stephanie's third tip, 245 metres up. It's been taking visitors to the top of Neroberg Hill, Wiesbaden's most popular day trip destination, for well over a century. The view from the Monopteros, a park temple, is fantastic. On a clear day, you can see all the way to the Odenwald Mountains in the south. St. Elizabeth's Church on the Neroberg is also a feast for the eyes. It was built for a Russian duchess in 1855. Wiesbaden's Russian Orthodox community still holds services there. To say goodbye, wine queen Stephanie has brought us to a place that's close to her heart. This is my third tip, the Neroberg. It's one of my favourite places in the world because here I can enjoy nature right in the city. And on top of that, the grapes for my favourite wine grow here, Riesling. And Rheingau Riesling wines from the region around Wiesbaden are known the world over. <laughs>